evening and welcome to Lima Senior High School where tonight WSN is at the Coach Q Classic. Our matchup this evening is the final matchup of the five contests today. The Ottawa Men of Titans, a four and one record and they are matched up with the Cincinnati Princeton Vikings who are five and one on the season. My name is Mark Shine. It's my pleasure to do play-by-play -play alongside Scott Mag. Scott, you've seen a little bit about Cincinnati Princeton. They have a single loss to Fairfield this year, five wins. How about a little bit of description of Cincinnati Princeton? Yeah, well, Cincinnati Princeton, you know, they kind of run the Princeton offense, the uh, the um, uh, Pete Carroll Princeton offense, where they like to go back screen and then uh, come off it for a double screen. Uh, what they do is like to get their their main player down on the block or coming off a double screen. And when they do get it, they love to attack the rim and defensively they're going to guard you from end line to end line and get up and down. And if, if it's slow down the game, they're going to run that Princeton off into death. They're going to keep running, keep running, keep running. And I'm telling you, when they set those back screens, Mark, they go head hunting. So our, uh, the Titans defenders are going to get bumped around a lot tonight. So they got to see if they can get through those screens and got to communicate well on defense. Their key player is Kevin Ordono. He is a 6'1 senior, averaging 17 a game, 5.3 rebounds, and three plus assists. He is a very good basketball player. Absolutely. And he's the guy that normally comes off that double screen. And he comes up, and he's, he's very good at getting his shoulders square and shooting the three. And then if you come out too much, he is skilled enough, Mark, to get the ball pounded on the floor and get into the lane. And he does such a good job of jump stopping in the paint. And if you come up to help, he drops it off to the big guys. He's, he doesn't, you know, he seeks shots, but if you're gonna come up to defend him, he does do a great job of dropping it off to the, the, to the uh, post players coming off them double screens. The other starters for Coach Brian Wyant's team will be number one is Cliff Cass. He's a 5'11 sophomore averaging nine a game. Number three is Caden Stevens, a 6'1 senior at six points per game. Uh, number 21, Joey Cheney, a 6'2 senior at 4.7. And number 30, Brendan Bradix, he is a 6'4 junior at three and a half points per game. Well, Tyson McLaughlin's team, they have just a single loss this year. Uh, your analysis of what the Titans want to do today? Uh, the Titans are going to they're going to pick up full court and press, but they're going to be doing a little bit different. The, the uh, Princeton uh, basketball team is going to pick up mainly man-to-man. -man. Titans, got they go 1-2-2. Two, two. They go 2-2-1. They, two, two, they pick up full court man. They trap you. They try to, to spin you back into traps. They do a lot of couple of things, and they, they do a good job of trying to make the game faster. They want to run seven, eight, nine guys in at you. They're going to play hard. They're going to spread it, usually four around one with the uh, Theo Mag in, in the paint. Uh, Colin White creating shots. Uh, they run, they run sh this play called Shake a lot where they kind of a two-man game with Caden Erford and Colin White where they kind of go screen and uh, flare screen to a little screen and roll stuff. Uh, but the Titans really want to go four around one, pound it inside, uh, go inside out, and then vary the various presses and try to get you to play faster than you're normally used to. But I don't think if, you know, Princeton wants to play fast anyway. So this is, this is going to be a heck of a game. I'm really excited to see how this one shakes out. You mentioned several of the starters. Let's go through who those particular people are. Number three is Grant Schrader, 6'1", junior, averaging four points a game. Uh, number 11, Theo Mag, 6'7", senior, at 16.6 a game. 21 is Hunter Steckscholdy. Hunter is a 6'2", senior, at 7.5 points per game. Colin White was number 22, 6'6", junior, at 14.4 points a game. And number 24 is Caden Erford. He is a 6'4", junior, averaging 12.8 points per game. A lot of people think this is the best game of the tournament. Certainly it is the best game of Saturday. That's why it's game number five in the matchup. We'll be back in just a moment. Cincinnati Princeton Vikings, the Ottawa Benner of Titans, is next on WOSN. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Lima Senior High School, the Coach Two Holiday Classic. Ottawa Glendorf about to match up with Cincinnati Princeton. One change from the starting lineup we gave you a moment ago. Number 21, Joey Cheney, a 6'2 senior, is not in the starting lineup this evening. Instead, number five, Dorian Williams, a 6'4 junior, who averages 7.8 points per game and five and a half rebounds, will be in the basketball game instead. That would be the only change in the lineup. We did not give you our uh, officials for the game this evening. Officials today are Denny Morris, Chase Hiles, and Matt Tolliver. 
We appreciate their work this evening and Coach Q for putting this thing together at Lima Senior High School. Looking for games earlier today. Mason defeated Linda McKinley. Cleveland East Tech defeated Cincinnati Woodward 96-69. Dunbar, who will play tomorrow against Lima Senior, defeated Chandler Park Academy 79-61. And in overtime, Perrysburg defeated Walnut Ridge 81-74. And this is the final game of the tournament for Saturday. Five more tomorrow. Including Lima Senior, who can, who can catch the game with Dunbar. On our station, Theo Mag tips the ball into the backcourt to Colin White, and we're underway. There's Mag on top. This is Caden Clifford. And a bounce pass inside to White, and who hit it out of bounds? It was with the Titans. Uh, Colin's got to make sure he's go get it. He tried to dribble that pass, and he had three guys on him in a hurry, so. They're going to be all over the of the court tonight. He's got to go get it and then uh, square up, see what he can get. Right now. We're looking for numbers and stats, almost a steal. Is the pressure out here put on against Hunter Stecksholdy. He finally finds White. There's Erford in the corner. He's a three-ball shooter and missed that one. Mag goes and gets the rebound, however, for the Titans. Jumping every screen here. Titans got to look to slip them. That's a good sign if you're a Titan fan. Colin White nailing a three ball to start the game. He has struggled a bit shooting the basketball recently. A lot of it has to be, Mark, he's not getting his feet set, but that one he had his feet set and knocked that one down and looked pretty. It's a pass in the lane, that went to Braddox. And now they're gonna reset with Caden Stevens on top and they give it up on the sideline to Dorian Williams. It's a long three out of the corner that bounces around and Shot was missed by Stevens, and White rebounds that one, throws it ahead. Here's Schrader. Megan Lopo spins through traffic and goes up and scores. Kind of spun around and got through two guys. They know that to go in the side there, they took two guys. Mag went for the steal, didn't get it. Caden Stevens scores at the rim. Good job of. Throwing the ball ahead. First foul in the basketball game will go to the Vikings, Kevin Adorno. Adorno. Vikings in red today. Titans in their traditional whites, even though they're sitting on the visitor's bench, the team, and, and listed as the home team on the scoreboard. That's a little bit odd, I think, in Lima City. That's how we do it here. That ball is tipped out of bounds by Cass. What I'm impressed with, Mark, is Princeton, how well they, you know, they're switching every screen, but they are up in you every time that, that when they come, they're attacking the dribbler, and they're getting themselves out in that passing lane. It's making it very difficult for the Titans to reverse the basketball. Move to the goal, it slapped out of bounds as Hunter Stetschel tried to get a shot off. Each of these teams played last night. Out of a Glendorf defeated the Elida in Western Buckeye League, play 65-24. Princeton Vikings defeated Middletown 71-64. Mag in the low post again, kick out. This will be straighter. And his three rattles around. Rebound, however, pass to White. And White now has five in the game. Kick down the floor so fast. There's some travel there. Baseline penetration dribble, shot up and good. That was uh, Cliff Cass. Yeah, he did a great job, shot fake. And when he got a guy up in the air, he just attacked that rim. That was impressive. A white with the basketball against man-to-man -man pressure. Two and a half minutes into our opening quarter. White inside. And gets the ball back. Goes up through traffic and who hit it out of bounds? It will stay with. Williams, I think, knocked that one out, so it'll be Titans ball. I think uh, White might have had, they had the switch, cast one on Mag, and White passed it. He should have kind of drawn it because he had Mag underneath with the point guard on him. It's a move to the goal, a little runner in the lane, a little bit of contact, nothing called. They're going to scramble for it, and oh, section runs it down. Section to keep possession. This is Erford. Mag doubled up. Now they're sending two guys when they throw the ball in the in the paint and Mag, so the, what the Titans got to do is run a shooter behind him. Curl cut, Erford. Nice play. That was really well done. 
2-2-1 press again. Tightens up 7-4 early. This will be a three out of the corner by Cass. That's long. Erford rebounds. Here's a pass ahead to Mag. Just a little too far into the goal to make anything happen with that one. And Steck Schulte. Mag backing him down. Kick out. Erford for three. And the rebound to Williams. They do a good job of throwing the ball up the sideline. They've got right guys running hard down the side, and they do a good job of throwing it ahead. Titans got to make sure they get back. Pass on the sides, knocked out of bounds to stay with Princeton. A couple of subs in. It looks like Dave Westrick is in. Also, Levi Unterbrink, 6'8", junior. Unterbrink, 6'1", senior. Pretty typical for Ottawa Glendorf. We're four minutes into this. Start bringing guys into the game. Official yeah, something. Got? A little discussion at the uh, scorer's table. A foul. I don't know. It's a busy weekend if you're a Princeton Viking. They played Middletown last night, this game tonight. They'll be back here tomorrow at 545 to play Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary's, right before Lima Senior Dunbar matches up. So three games in three days for them. That shot was taken inside by... Adorno, and he knocked out of bounds by him. Titan basketball exactly halfway through the opening quarter. Here's Underbrink to take it out of bounds. And Colin White will advance the basketball against Adorno. He's been on him all night. Been right up on him pretty quick. Westrick Underbrink in the corner. Bounce pass inside. Wester gives a kick out for Schrager. Three in the corner. And rebound at Underbrink. And he can't finish inside under pressure. And rebound to Williams. They throw it ahead to Cass. And Cass scores his points three and four tonight. 59 6 game. He's seen White come and he just stuck his hand out there and just got it up quickly before White could get to the ball. Colin White trying to get inside. He's doubled up. Here's a pass. Cut to go Grant. Uh, Grant Schrader, what a great cut. Seen the double team, and his guy wanted to go double, and he went hard to the rim. It was a great job. How many times do you tell kids that when yeah. you, you see your man leave you, go to the front of the rim? Right. We'll find There's you. a three. It rattles out for Stevens. Hustle by Williams. He's been all over the glass so yeah. far. Here's Williams from the corner, and a lot of check out. Nobody going for the basketball. And we're going to get a held ball on the baseline. It will stay with Princeton. Another Steck Schulte back in. So Erford came in with him, I believe. Yes. Mag out and Schrader out. Mag over there on the side, blowing his nose. He's kind of finding a little head cold. Good block by Dave oh, Westry. Yes, it was. Elijah Adams, who wears number zero, checked in for Princeton at that. So did number 11, Jaden Arnold. So each team has gone seven deep early. Durford cut off on the baseline. I'll tell you what, Princeton's really, really good at helping you drive. There's one or two guys coming. and Scotty Donald will pick up that foul. He will check in a moment ago as well. Two team fouls for Princeton. And as typical, Titans have not committed a foul yet. They, they are very well schooled in that, aren't they, Scott? Yes, they are. Don't really reach. You know, they get in the right position and, and make the other team. There's a steal headed to the rim. Cass. And he finishes. Cass has a six of the eight points so far that Princeton's put on the board. 5-11 sophomore. Very good at his quick hands, and he gets to the rim quickly. Here's Erford for three. Off the front of the rim. Rebound comes to Arnold. They're going to push. Oh, he's going to go back. to the backcourt. Turn yeah. over. I was about to say, they have been very good at pushing the ball yes. with pace, but if nothing shows up, they bring it back out and run their offense. Yeah, they do. And Donald tried to catch out with one hand instead of going and grabbing it, and, you know, he took his eye off a little bit. 
And he did. Adorno back in the basketball game and trying to get the right number of bodies on the court. Who's matched up with who by Coach Brian Wyatt. And we're going to steal in the backcourt. This is Williams. And he finishes. He's giving Colin White some trouble handling yes, the basketball. Kind of attacking his, they know he likes to go with his right hand and they're attacking him, not letting him go to that right. Being physical with him too. Pass inside. Erford's going to finish inside. Nice look, good finish. He's got four. Good job by Colin to throw the ball ahead, right? A better way to beat pressure is to throw the ball ahead. Skip past corners. A three out of the corner. That's short. Erford rebounds that. And then he will advance the basketball. Butter break. Westrip in the top of the circle. Another break for three out of the corner. Three-point field goal shooting not good here in the opening quarter. Speed pull-up jumper by Ardano, and he buries the first three. The Vikings today with tied 13, under a minute to go. Good job by Ardano to kind of trail transition three there. This Erford there in the underneath the basket, Titans did. White sets it, throws it over to Steckshoulder. Titans would like to play one shot to end this one, but a lot of defensive pressure. Yes. <laughs> Coach Wyatt out on the floor helping guard. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Very intense on the sideline. Number seven, here's Erford, and lost it, picked up. Chris is going to get a shot at the buzzer. It goes! Long three-point field goal, Kevin Ergono. And his second three in the opening quarter will give the Vikings a 16-13 lead after the first eight. You're watching high school basketball at WOSA. by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the structure of Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor is a division of all the seamless scouting. In the opening quarter, we had three made three-point field goals. Two of them, including one at the buzzer by Kevin Ordono, our three-point sponsor tonight, is Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Titans got to come out to move the basketball a little bit more. This pressure, this uh, ball pressure is really, really hurting them. So they got to move the basketball. Uh, they, too much pounding, too much pounding allows that pressure to eat you up. Titans got to move the basketball. Mag on top, pushed a long way away from the goal. Erford hands off to Steck shoulder. Here's Mag inside. Got a block. Rebound went to Braddock, so they're going to throw it ahead. Here's a baseline move. And Braddock's going to get a left-hander in the lane that doesn't go, and White rebounds. And huge pressure. Schrader, and that one's tip loose, stolen by Cliff Cass. They attack the dribbler. And do they attack the rim as well as Ornano finishes? We kind of talked about that pregame, how they to go and attack the rim. If not, they're going to run that Princeton offense. But if you're coming in, into somebody off a ball screen, they are attacking a dribbler. So Mag throws the ball away again. Well, they've got tipped on the way out of bounds. That's going to be a very difficult place to inbound the basketball deep in the corner in front of the bench. Burford to do the honors. Skip pass, Schrader. And he goes off glass and finishes. Schroeder's got two points in each quarter for four. Cass. Hand off to Adorno. He's had a impressive last couple of minutes with eight points. He catches the ball on top again. There's a long three by Braddock. It bounces off the rim. by Grant Schrader to go track that one down. There's White. It's a tough shot. Shot's blocked. It's a tough 
shot. Williams, a 6'4 junior, got up to it. Cass goes cross court with his pass. That's a good save. It was saved. Good save down there by Arnold. And that allows Princeton to reset. A lot of times those tough shots leave the baskets down the other end. Good job by the Titans to get down and uh, take that one away. You see a lot of back cuts, a lot of screens. Nope, we're going to steal. Who hit it out of bounds? It was favorite Princeton. Branch ready to try to dribble that loose ball instead of grabbing it. Comes Elijah Adams back in the game, a 6'6 senior, averaging four points and four boards a game. Got the sub getting uh, Colin Wild a little break. He, he's kind of forced two quick shots there, and good job, Titans coaching staff, to get him on the sideline and get a break and calm him down a little bit. Good hustle by Grant Schrader again. Good defensive pressure ball, first of all, from Westrick to bother the inbounder and then to knock it out of bounds right there. Here comes uh, Dory Williams back in the game as Princeton coach Brian Wyatt, very active in getting people in and out of the game. Westrick and Arnold out front. Arnold goes baseline, kick out. Really good ball movement, Scott. Yeah, just ready to say they do such a good job of giving up an open shot for another better shot. It was, it was amazing how well they play together. And they play so hard, too. That's, that's a good thing to see. Biggest Princeton lead at 21-15. It's the third made three-point field goal and 11th point for Kevin Ardano. by either team, yeah. And as aggressive and as physical as uh, Princeton has been playing, it's, it's pretty impressive. Dory Williams becomes the third Princeton Viking to pick up a foul in the opening quarter. In the opening half. Wilford looking for somebody and finally finds Mag and Mag is fouled. And goes to Elijah Adams. <laughs> Stacking it here. And the back to Schrader and then to Colin White. Mag inside. Westrick rebounds. Fight for it. Mag's fighting for it. And Torno grabbed the two. We're going to get a held ball. I was waiting to see if there's a call, and it was go to Princeton. Well, as we said earlier in the broadcast, they, you know, if somebody gets free, there's one or two guys flying to the ball. I mean, that, they play such good team defense, man. They, they really, really get after it when somebody's coming to the rim. And I'm trying to get some perspiration off the floor. Scott, I do not have a 15 for Princeton on my roster, so I am not sure who that young man is who just checked in a moment ago. Coach Brian Wyatt sent us roster and stats this week, and very grateful that back to so very early in the week and appreciated that, but this, this young man is not on the roster. Nice, nice back cut. There's your Princeton. Yep. Double screen and he goes hard back door and bang. Good job to find him too. 23-15, pass inside, tipped away. And ripped away by Odon Adorno. Pass ahead, it's going to go out of bounds though. One of the few turnovers he had by. I think it was right, right decision, but it just didn't get off the ground. Looking to see if Coach McLaughlin wants to take a timeout. Our timeouts today are sponsored by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Full court pressure. Well, I'm not sure who number 15 is, Scott, but he is taller than Theo Mag, and Theo's listed at 6'7. Bounce pass in, it's going to go out of bounds. Tough pass. It's been a long time since somebody's done this to the Titans. You know, normally the Titans are doing that to other teams, but Prince is doing a heck of a job on that full court press. 
causes some problems as Titans are going to a 2-3 zone here. See that back cut for a dunk a moment ago, and we're going to get out of the man and play some zone. See if they can make it some outside jumpers. The guy that has made some outside jumpers is on the bench, so what a good decision here by the coaching, Titan coaching staff to try the zone, see if somebody else can beat them. Pass inside. And a nice reverse layup. Yep. And there is a Mexican Financial Services timeout by Coach McLaughlin. Just under four minutes to go here in the second. Titans down by 10. Watch high school basketball, WSN. Timeouts today are sponsored by Mexican Financial Services, helping you play in your financial future. Visit MexicanFinancialServices.com. So far in the quarter, looking at uh, nine points for Princeton and just two points for the Titans in the first four minutes. Yeah, they're, Princeton's really taking it to the Titans right now. They're they're more aggressive offensively and defensively. Titans got to got to match this uh, this aggressiveness and kind of what happened hurt them a little bit last night against the Elida that first quarter. They didn't match that kind of Elida punched him in the mouth and they didn't want any of it. And kind of the same thing with Princeton doing to him tonight. This is Hunter Steckshoulder advancing the basketball. See what the Titans do coming out of the timeout. And that's going to be a foul out front. Fifth team foul. And Dorian Williams becomes the first player in the game to get two fouls. He's going to get a sub in for him. That will be Adorno. And there we go. We had six players on the floor for a moment. Kind of looking at the coach who their matchup's going to be, and he forgot to tell who was he going in for. Westrick, White. 15-footer, Colin White, board ball. And he's coming away with a rebound was Jaden Arnold. He was off to the races and got fouled. And Hunter tried to dribble it instead of just grabbing it. I'm telling you, they see a loose ball, those Princeton Athletes, they just attack and go get it and start heading down the floor. Arnold they do. First foul in the basketball game for the Titans goes to Hunter Steck Shorty. It's probably a pretty good foul. He was yeah. going to skate in for a layup if he didn't. Hunter's first, team first. This is Arnold, pass to the wing, pass. Pass long three. Hard. Good rebound. It was. By whoever 15 is. We're going to find that out when we get to the halftime break. I can right. assure you. A little floater off the glass and white skies from that one. He's going to get picked from me. I hope he gets away from it. He's coming, though. He better they're chasing up. him, and Colin goes length to the floor and can't finish with the left hand. Now we're headed the other way. Cass ahead of the pack. And he gets fouled from behind by Caden Erford. Good foul by Caden. I'll tell you. Those guards, they trust those post guys to come up with a rebound. And uh, usually, Arnold, he takes off, and they just turn and whip it. And he's usually at half quarter, if not farther, and this puts a lot of pressure on the Titans to get back. The first free throws of the basketball game will go to Cliff Cass. He's an 83% free throw shooter. Is the sophomore guard. Shows you why. That's point seven for him. Titans still with just a single basket here in five minutes plus into quarter number two. Had some good shots, just haven't got them yeah. to fall yet. You'll we'll see Titans a little cold right now on the offense, man. Cass, who averages nine points a game. Back to the rim, bounces around, and the rebound comes to Phil Mag. Titans trying to make something happen before we get to the halftime break. Finds White, pass inside. The Mags pass gets tipped away, but fortunately stays with the Titans. And oh. we're getting an offensive foul. And the step shoulder gets his second foul. And the turnover. Coach McLaughlin liked that one. He looked like he was still moving to me, but again, the referee had a better view than me. It's two on Hunter, so he'll probably have to get checked out here. Looks like Grant Schrader is for him. 
And we are going to get a timeout. This one will go to the Princeton Vikings at 30 second ride, and you're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Back at Lima Senior High School here in the quarter number two. That was a Princeton timeout with 228 to go here in the quarter. The scoreboard today is sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the structure Perogla X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of all seamless spouting. First timeout goes to Princeton. Senior coach Brian Williams and Brian White set up for this one. Uh, talk about key possessions in the game. I think this might be a key possession for the Titans to get a stop and at least see one ball go through the net before they get to halftime because it's getting close to halftime. Titans got to buckle down here and get a stop. And Long get some... three bounces high and it's it's Erford. Erford. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Two guys down there and he kind of just swatted at it. Looks like uh, Jaden Arnold will check back into the game. Good balance with sophomore shooters and seniors on the Princeton's team, but they have two good sophomore guards are in Cliff Cass and Jay Darn. Both listed at 6 1. Pass inside. That will be an easy basket inside for Bernardo. And he has 13 in the game now. The 12 3 quarter for the first six minutes. Princeton. And too many dribbles. Throw yeah. ahead. Can't dribble through that pressure. Got to throw the ball away. And Erfurt tried to drill by. When somebody comes up, knocks it away. And Arnold knows when the ball goes away, he just takes off. And Arnold will pick up his first foul. That is just two foul six. You can tell from that. Mr. White is getting really frustrated by the aggressive defense being played on him right now. It's been a long time since the Titans been doubled up. Be a fact. Here's Colin White. Ag. Burford gets a three look. Just can't get anything to fall. Nope. Adorno with that rebound. Here comes Arnold. Cass gets a jumper out of the corner. And then he gets his own rebound. Good job, Ardorno, to go in there and knock that one away. That three will not fall for Arnold. Mag rebounds. And under a minute to go. White cut off trying to get to the glass. This is a good defensive team. Here's White with the right hand and finishes inside. He's got seven in the game. A much needed basket for the Titans. The Titans needed to get a score here. Now they got to get a stop. Maybe, maybe get another uh, opportunity to score here before the half ends. But if not, they got to keep it within. 13. This looks like a, a last shot opportunity against the 2-3 zone for the Princeton Vikings. This is Cliff Cass on the top. He's got seven in the game. And here comes the play. Nice pass. Wonderful pass inside to the Gordo, and that will be a, the end of quarter number two. After the first 16 minutes, it's going to be 32 for the Princeton Vikings and 17 for the Adelaide Grandro Titans. We're watching high school basketball. Halftime at Lima Senior, the coach. Holiday Classic, it's the Vikings, 32-17 lead over the Alexander Titans. Three-point sponsor today is Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick. For all your commercial, residential, and concrete needs, call Dale's Concrete. Mark Shine, Scott Mag. Scott, uh, we got a stat page for you. What jumps off that page at you? There's quite a few things that jump off the stat page for me. Is one, Titans have nine turnovers to two by the. Uh, the Vikings, the Vikings only have two, Titans have nine. A lot of those turnovers led to easy out baskets. Also another thing is Titans are one for eight from threes. Uh, the Vikings ain't much better, they're three of 13. One of those is a half court heave. 
by Ordano. But if you take away that, you look at their twos, they're 11 for 15. A lot of that has been leak out easy transitions, two on one, three on twos, layups. Um, Titans got to be able to take that away. And that was a stat that so Titans did not attempt a foul shot. I, I, I can't remember in the last three or four years that the Titans have not attempted a foul shot in a half. And as much as hard as the Vikings has played defensively, you know, uh, they've done a great job of not committing shooting fouls. Titans have not got to the line, so that tells you they're not really moving the ball. They're settling for threes, and a lot of those threes that are settled for, they got a hand in their face, and those threes have led to leak out baskets. Titans got to do a better job, one, maybe to make some baskets, maybe to make an extra pass and get back because 11 for 15, you ain't going to win many games. The uh, Titans have a quarter scores of 13 and 4 for their 17 points. Colin White has 7, 4 for Grant Schrader, 4 for Kate Nerford, and 2 for Theo Mag. The Cincinnati Vikings, Princeton Vikings, they have quarter scores of 16 and 16. Kevin Adorno has 15 points, 7 for Cliff Cass. Three other players have a basket, and it will be Titan basketball here as we begin quarter number three. Our scoreboard is sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the structure Pergil X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts, seamless scoring. Let's see what the Titans get going after that 10 minute break for halftime. Pass the green to the backboard, Taylor Stetch only. He will be fouled right away by Cliff Cass. I like that Cass been all over him all game, and now they call it, but I think the difference of that is Hunter actually won at him. You know, he, he allowed Cass to push him off the line the whole first half. That time he's like, no, I'm getting to my spot, and you've got to go through me to get to it. So give Hunter credit that he's he's tired of getting pushed off. He's going to, like, attack him. Maybe that was a, a little bit of a, a theme for a halftime, then he dribbles off his foot. Yeah, lost the ball off yeah. his foot against pressure. But i got to think they were challenged at halftime. I think you're right. And uh, good job by Hunter responding. He almost called up the steal there. He gives it up to Adorno on the baseline. Trapped now and slipped to him by Christoph Scholde. Switch now front. Nice backdoor cut. You have not seen Princeton offense. That is it right there. Colin White got caught staring at the basketball. Once you get staring at the basketball, you do a back cut, and they do such a good job when they see the guy cutting back door to get him the ball. And pass was tipped out of bounds. It was not just simply went out of bounds on the errant pass. If you've ever studied Princeton offense, Scott, sometimes the window to make that pass through is extremely small. And this is a team right now that's been able to effectively do that when time has come to do this. Do so. And these guys run this to perfection. They know this offense like the back of their hand. And there's a three on two that ends up in the basket for Dorian Williams. He's got six in the game now. And what, what the press part was that was, Mark, nobody dribbled the ball. Three passes led to a layup. The only guy that dribbled it was the guy that finished it on the rim. There's now White can't finish, but gets his own rebound and got that one blocked. And in the scramble, who hit it out of bounds? It will stay with OG, thanks to the hustle from Caden Erford. Dorno in there with him. He'll go hitting out of bounds. Back to a cut to White. And he wants to dunk and cannot. He's fouled. It will allow him to go to the free throw line. And as you said a moment ago, these will be the first free throws of the game for the Titans. Oh, free throw shooting. But a little bit more aggressive, but he was attacking the rim with a vengeance. And, uh, you know, Princeton did it differently. The Titans were pressing. They went four passes, led to a wide-open uh, layup. Titans got to do a better job of getting the passing lane and not allow that direct pass up. Otherwise, that press is not doing any bit of good for you. The dunk he threw down against Taft in the finals <laughs> of the state tournament last year brought the entire Water Center Arena to life. I thought he was headed that way with that one. Yeah. A... And what do we got? Official the scores table straightening things out. Out of town or can't get WSN? The WSN is now streaming our broadcast channel 24-7 online on Roku or Apple TV. Download our Roku channel and Apple app to subscribe. $100 donation allows you to watch anywhere in the world. You can visit 
app that WSN.tv to sign up. It's my significant other. Don't spend my Christmas. She reminded me we're not exchanging gifts this year. <laughs> Shot doesn't go. Boy, a nice rebound attempt by Caden Stevens. OG surrounds it, gets it. Here comes White. Schrader. Make a better pass, and Hunter Mag got a three there. White trying to attack the rim. Here's a lob inside to Mag. One dribble, he's going to go up in traffic, and he'll get to go to the free throw line. So I think the Titans are going to do a better job of making you know, quick passes inside to either a cutter. You know, they did it a couple times. Grant made a good job because they double team a lot of time to the post guys. And if they got the attackers, they just got to be able to catch a square, make a good hard pass. Should that, lead uh, to baskets. That stat page you have in front of you, Theo didn't get many shots in the first half, did he? Just a couple, maybe? Three. Three, yeah. Makes that free throw. That's point three for him. Second one as well. Four points in the quarter. That ball is going to be played out of bounds there with Adorno. Titans are going to get back. There's a turnover at down 15. And here comes Arnold Beckham. That's Arnold. Arnold really had a good first half. Sure did. He did, did a good job of distributing the basketball and getting out. Five assists, no turnovers in the opening half for him. Here's White from the corner for three. Got it. Here come the Titans. Yeah, I, I think a lot of, you can tell they're playing a lot harder and more aggressive. That's the way they have to play. They can't back down from this. There's a pressure. And get another one. Ooh. Ooh. They almost got to that one. Here comes Cass heads to the rim. Yes, oh, really. Saw so one and it was a long one. Yes, Cass throws one and one of those 11. This is all right here. Defense! Defense! Loose inside and cannot that time against Schrader. It's a back screen here. Yep. Back screens in three. Here's a penetration dribble baseline. And now gets a block and it goes out of bounds off of Adorno. Good block for the This place is going to erupt if yeah. Titans get a two or a three here. Get it under double digits here. We played three minutes of quarter number three. Here's White to the rim. Bounce pass and Mag finishes. Uh oh, here comes the Titan faithful. Yes, sir. Here they come. Here's a pass ahead. Bounce pass. It's getting back. Yes, they did. Pass breaks the press to points eight and nine off the pass from Adorno. It was, that's such a backbreaker. Titans do a good job of getting the basket. And, Within two passes, they get down and get an easy basket for a layup there. Here's Mag. He spins in the lane, and what happened? Yeah, he lost, lost it out of bounds. Yep. Turnover number 11. Good pressure, Jaden Arnold. Can't put it down on the, on the ground. He's got three or four guys coming at the ball. He's got to catch it square. A lot of quick hands yeah. out there wearing red jerseys. Yes, sir. This will be Brendan Bredix to take the ball out of bounds with Mag on him. Finally, he gets it in bounds. Here comes Arnold. And he will be fouled. Stexel three. Stexel only gets foul number three and the initial foul of this half. And the Ottawa Van North Titans. Here comes Levi Unterbrick in the game. And Stexel has got to sit down with those three fouls. Stexel and Unterbrick are scoreless in the game. Hunter does such a good job on the defensive end and distributing the basketball. That hurts when he has to go to the sidelines. Get back door cut. Good back job. There it is. Yep. You overplay, they're going back door. It's like trained in their head. There's that flare screen for three. Mag picks it up and finds White. Oh, White working. Garden. Arnold's been all over him. Trader looking for somebody, gets it inside. Mag gets it slapped out of his hands. He's got to go up strong with that. 
Cass. Titans got it to 10, and the next basket went to the Vikings. It's the lead 12. Back door, there's the back door cut, and he's looking up. Yeah, White stares at the ball, and they, they've been backdooring him a lot. He's got to see both. Get his head turned around to get deep. Cass didn't catch it, looked up to slap it down to the rim and just didn't catch it. That's the turnover, and there's another really turnover. That will go to under break. Fumbles the inbounds pass, under pressure. Yeah, it just hurts if you're a Titans fan. You get a turnover for them, and then you give it right back without even getting a shot attempt. Three-point field goal a minute ago went to Colin White. Our three-point field goals are sponsored by Dale's Concrete, Decker Steel Pitting, and Lipstick. All your commercial and residential concrete needs. Back door. There's the back door. Good help that time came from Orford, but it's the I thought it was. Yes, sir. Points three and four for him today. Leads back at 14. And they got White doubled up. Orford trying to spin the lane. Problem is, you can't just put the ball on the, on the floor because usually there's a, a quick-handed guard coming at you. You spin. Sometimes more than one quick-handed guard coming at you. It's all right there. Possession arrow favors the Princeton Vikings. We found out who number 15 is. It was Daniel Jones. He just checked in. He was a 6'6 junior. Basket in quarter number two. Double pressure again, and play Schrader. Fourteen point lead. Titans got to get stops. Is that high screen? Oh, nice penetration move. Westrick rebounds. Good move. Couldn't finish. Arnold. Here's Erford doubled up. You make a spin move, there's somebody coming. That's why you got it. Here's Mag. Behind the backboard, couldn't finish. Here's White for three. Tipped around, good hustle, get on the floor. Here's pass inside, that was blocked. Jones went up and got it, but also got hand. Such a good job protecting the rim with the bigs, and them guards are quick as cats out there getting the ball. And then if, if they don't get it, they just take off because Arnold's walking a long ways to come back. Westrick will go to the free throw line. TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now's a great time to make a donation of any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to W2W.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. And you can visit WTLW.com. Westrick makes his first free throw. He's a 67% free throw shooter on the season. His first point tonight. And he it out of bounds. And put pressure on and Jones knocked it out of bounds. He's got to take advantage of this. Herford inbound. White. Herford. And lost it out of bounds. Herford tried to go to the rim, left hand, left side of the glass, and could not. Titans trying to do too much with the dribble, and I think it's causing him problems. Baseline move. Straight line, straight line drives also killed him tonight. Jaden Arnold got to the glass, did the sophomore, and drew a foul. That goes to Levi Underbrick, I believe, his first. His first in the free throw line. Here we go, Jaden Arnold, 68% free throw shooter. Average is 10 and a half points a game. That was point uh, five for him this evening. As uh, Grant Schrader checks back in, as does Elijah Adams. And Cass. See that. Here's Arnold again. Those very valuable guys. Doesn't start. Sophomore comes off the bench, leaves that one short. White rebounds. Nice to have a guy come off the bench and get you ten and a half points. Yeah. 
And play great defense and get down the floor. And a bump and run out front. What do we got? Jones, I believe, with an elbow. Jones gets fouled. Second number two. That's 15 foul. We get for the Titans to get to the free throw line, get some one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Ooh. Murphy in the corner. And then Westrick and throws it to Jones. 14 turnovers for Titan right there. Jones stepped on the sidelines. He tried to secure that pass. Yep. He goes baseline and goes up over Jones. Scrambles for the rebound. Theo picks it up. Good job staying with it. Going to go back inside and with a push. Elijah Adams picks up foul number two, and that is the sixth team foul. Comes Adorno back into the basketball game. Missed our opening segment. The senior averages 17 points a game, 5.3 rebounds, 3.3 assists, and 3.8 steals a game. Bag spins into the lane. He's got three guys on him. Has to kick it back out. Here's White, and he goes inside, and the draw foul. Colin White has five in the quarter, 12 in the game. He's headed to the free throw line. Oh, no, that's second. So some of that aggressiveness is then he's turning into fouls and uh, starting to mount up here for the uh, Vikings. Almost 10 minutes remaining in the game, and the Titans are going to get a chance to shoot free throws for the rest of the game as White makes that one. He's three for three at the line. Points 13 for him. Looking at 14 right here. And Mag rebounds. And goes right up with the right hand. That's a nice move. Theo Mag has eight. Rebound, who got it? That's a foul. It's going to go against. Westrick, I think, because he didn't kind of, he yeah. got there later. I'll tell you, these guys go get the ball. Titans got to be a, got to go get it. First foul, Dave Westrick. Yeah. Adorno was just quicker to the ball. Well, he seen him miss it, and Westrick kind of just stood and watched and let them, but then he's like, oh, I better go get it, and Adorno was past him. Um, these Vikings, they don't wait around. They go attack the well, They're trying to figure they want to take the ball out of bounds. Yeah. We're going to get a sub in first. This is Caden Stevens. Now we got six strikes. Nope, we're going to have Cliff Ash walk off the floor. We're going over and back, yep. Paul. And I'm not sure that's correct. They never secured possession of the ball. He touched it, though. I don't know. Maybe he thought he not touched it. And uh, right through his hands. See what the call ends up being. This is going to get together and get this one right. Yep. Timeouts there are sponsored by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. And the reason for that is he did not secure possession of the basketball. You're right. Princeton ball out of bounds. Good job by the officials to get together and, and fix that one. We'll get an explanation. Give it to the OG coaching staff. And it will be out of bounds and credible by the direction of the Princeton Vikings. 11 point lead. It's 15 and a half. And Mag will get called for foul. Price is not liking that one because they, that's what they've been doing. And th th that probably is a foul. You know, he has both hands on it, but Prince has been playing like that all game, and yeah. then you're going to call him. Tyson did not like that one. Theo Mags, the first foul. His team's fourth in the half. Almost a turnover, but Crack was able to secure it. Here's a long 
three. That one will go. Dale's player come back with a stamp on three. Goes to number three, Caden Stevens. He's got seven points, five in this quarter, and he goes back to 14 as well in a minute. Schrader looking for somebody. Here's White. Spin, spin, and finally Kyle Rich is really in the rim and scores. Points 14 and 15 for him. Eight in the quarter. Comes a backdoor play here. Ooh, Erfurt almost, almost got that Almost one. got that one. Yep. The problem with that, you almost get one, you go for the next one, and somebody backdoors you. Yeah, right. That's what happens. You yep. overplay, and then they know they're smart enough to go backdoor on you. Three ball. Splash. Jay Marlowe with the buzzer. Nails a three. That's a Dales concrete decorative stamping a three. He has points in six, seven, and eight. And Into the fourth quarter tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of alts, seamless spouting. Each team scored 15 points in quarter number three. And then we'll go to the fourth with a 37-32 lead in favor of the Princeton Vikings. The Titans were a lot more aggressive that third quarter than they all were, were the whole first half. So see if we can continue at the fourth quarter. We need to get Hunter Stexley, uh, get him to make some baskets here. And get open up some three-point shooting by him. White goes to the rim. Oh, we get called for the offensive oh. foul. Faith didn't like that one, and I don't know if I liked it either, but he did kind of dip his shoulder a little bit. Uh, White's first foul is an offensive foul and a turnover on the Titans' first possession of quarter number four. He has 15 points, as does Kevin Adorno for Princeton. They're the leading scorers in the basketball game. Cliff Cass has nine, Theo Mag has eight. Pressuring out front. This is White, and he's got Williams. Now Mag has him. Ooh, that's my bit of trouble. Certainly bobbled the basketball a little bit, did Arnold. White almost got that one. And Arnold working the lane, cannot get away from him. Erford, however, with patience here to take off about 50 seconds from the clock here. 15 point lead. They're not in any big hurry, are they? Nice pass inside. How about that? Oh, missed it. Yeah, but Steven was Steven yeah. surprised to be open and missed a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Now White down low. Spins in the lane, gets a shot blocked, and goes out of bounds. Colin White's like, what do I do to get a call down there? They, they've been sending it, ball goes in that post. If either Colin White has a Caden Erford or Theo Mag, they're sending two or three guys at whoever has the ball in the paint. From the Brittings in the basketball game, he wears number 30. And the three ball that will go. Goal. See them for all your commercial residential concrete needs. Seven points now. Ooh. There's White in transition. Uh-oh. Here comes the fans. Here they come. Titans have scored the last five points to get it to ten. And they've done it on their defensive end, right? They're jumping out there. But the thing is, Mark, is we know we've talked about, watch the back door. Once they start jumping on these passes, Erford almost got one. Look for the back door coming. Really good discipline by Cass that time. He had a chance to pull the trigger on a three ball yep. and did not. This is Dorian Williams, and his coach is going to take 30. a timeout. 5.41 to go. The Titans are back within 10. You're watching High School Basketball, WSA.
Good Quiet Wife takes a timeout. Our timeout is going to respond to our next for financial services. Helping you plan your financial future. Visit extrafinancialservices.com. Titans have been, got it to 10 and back in the third quarter, Scott. And the next basket went transition, went to the red team, and they pulled back out to a 15 point lead. The Titans are here again. And they hit a couple threes. Titans have tightened up their defense. And we've said it all game. Watch them going back door. Once they, once you start overplaying, they they set you up and go back door and get those easy baskets. Two minutes and 19 seconds of the fourth quarter. Pixie's not scored. He's got five on the board. Double up. Looking for somebody. Ooh, 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 that was about a bit of travel. Arnold wanted it, yeah. This is Kevin right here. Not scored here in this quarter after, in this half, after 15 in the opening half. Average is 17 a game. Been doing a good job distributing the basketball, though. That is a fact. Straight line. Cass going baseline, works inside, gets a shot blocked by White. Titans with numbers. Mag gets inside and goes up under pressure. And what we're going to get? Travel call. Wow, I don't understand how that's a travel. Coach McLaughlin wanted a held ball situation. Did not get that call. Uh, Mag is called for travel. Bring the basketball back down with him. There's Jaden Arnold. Out front of Schrader has him now. Doing very patient. I, I mean, I'm impressed of how they were scoring in bunches and now how they can just slow down and run this Princeton offense and see what you get. But you gotta wonder is sometimes you slow it down. They've not scored here yeah. in this uh, quarter. Sometimes you slow it down and you can't get going again if you right. need to. Yeah. Caught the ball in the corner up here, all the way opposite the court. We can hear Coach yell no. And here's a no that also doesn't go for Cliff Cass. Mag out in transition. And we'll draw a foul. And Phil Mag will get to go to the free throw line. Wow. Chris's coach is about out to the three point line, yelling at his guys. And he didn't like the, the no. three that, that Williams thought about a moment ago, nor the one that Cass took. Mag has made both of his free throws tonight. He has eight points and 73% from the foul line on the season. This would be huge to get it under doubled figures with four minutes to go in the quarter. And does it go, but rebound. Erford fights and fights and goes up and scores. the effort from Caden Murphy yep. to get inside and score his points eight and nine stop. That was a huge basket. That was huge. Titans got him with under 10. Now, you know, the thing is, is they got to keep the pressure up because they're going to run that Princeton set and they're going to try to back Doria. And, and, you know, the coach I'm sure right now is talking not settle for threes. He wants stuff in the lane or backdoor cuts. Uh, Metzger Financial Services timeout is just a 30-second timeout. Looking for the perfect gift for out-of-town sports fans? WSN Broadcast Channel can now be streamed anywhere in the world online. We put Apple TV for a $100 annual donation. A gift of hometown sports for the holidays. Sign up at the app at or by downloading the Roku or Apple TV apps. 356 to go. That timeout was taken by Ottawa Glandorf. Each team has three timeouts remaining in the game. And Brendan Bricks will be the inbounder with Theo Mag. Look how deep they are. This is Arnold. He's matched up with White. So fast with the dribble. Ball slap loose, but in the process, Levi Underbrick is going to pick up foul number two. Yeah, I, thought he, I thought Levi was there to get knocked out one away. That would have been funny. That would have been a two-on-one Titans to cut this lead to six. Still plenty of time left. Brick guarding the ball out of bounds. But they get it in bounds to Arnold. 
Jaden with the basketball and pressured by Colin White. And Colin White will pick up a foul that will put Princeton Vikings to the free throw line. That's Collins second. Titan Faithful won a five second call. And to the free throw line will go Arnold, who shoots 68% there. He is one for two tonight and has 10 points or eight points in the game. Titan's got a box out here. And missed it. They still have not scored here in quarter number four. Here comes White. Working, working inside, and his shot doesn't go. Mag's there, but gets it knocked away from him. Scramble, the Titans get it back. Here's Erford. And now Colin White. Mag inside, and goes up and scores. Field Mag's got 10 in the game now. And Titans telling the faithful to come in. Come help us, help us. Titans in five here. Six point game. With three minutes to go. Totally different team for the Titans. Their aggressiveness is. There's an official telling the consistent coach Kevin McLaughlin to sit down. <laughs> and what a great time for. Kevin Ardono to get his first basket in the second half. Backside help, just didn't see it. Mag wants it inside. Erford getting mugged. So is Mag in the low post. By Cass. He's got Cass on him, got his height advantage. It's Theo. And he is going to be fouled finally by Cass. He picks up foul number four. Back to the free throw line will go Mag. Out to the double bonus here for the Titans. One more and will be a double bonus time. Fourth one, Cass. That it is. And it's just the final one of one, I believe, as Underbrick will check in. Mag has 10 in the game. Two seventeen to go. Some critical free throws right yeah. here for Theo. See if uh, that was a little bit hard. But White tips it to Mag, and he's going to go up and get fouled again. Kept it alive for him, and Theo swooped in to grab it. Goes back to the free throw line. Here's the foul against. That one will go to Dorian Williams. Now he has three. Yep. Here's Mag again. Back to the free throw line. Took four seconds off the clock. That time he makes it point 11 for him. To match his number 11 on his white jersey. And that one is dead center as well. A six point game. Here's Cass. They bring it back out, very patiently reset. This team shoots only 64% from the line in the season. And there we go. Oh, well, no, a little late, but I think, yeah. They set on the, on the block shot, somebody whacked him in the head. Let's see who the call goes against. Looks like it's going to go against Tom White. Yep. Who now has three fouls. To the free throw line. Clear to cobwebs will be Jake Arnold. He will get a pair here. He missed his last two free throw attempts. There's one for two there in the seat. 154 to go. Each team still has three timeouts. The arrow favors Princeton. That one he makes. Adams also back in will be Grant Schrader. Dorno directing traffic. That's what you expect your senior leader to do. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Here's Arnold's free throw. And throws it in. And that was a double figure score with 10. Back to eight point lead. Baseline, finishing side. 
gets him going. The Titans need some baskets from him. Steps over his first two of the night, came in a bad, but there's a turnover. Spin move. It's a four-point game with 90 seconds to go. And we're going to get a Hunter Steck Shorty foul. And unfortunately for him, that becomes foul number four. A nice team foul, so this will be the final one-on-one -on -one opportunity of the game. And that's not the guy you want to foul either to get on the line. Dorno shoots 85% uh, from the free throw line on the season. Eleven three-point field goals on the season. 17 points a game. That's where he's at right now, pending this free throw. And goes out and Mag rebounds. That's and foul. he's oh, playing on the end line with the ball, though, is Jaden Arnold. I don't understand. Whoa, whoa, let's see. I think he just pointed wrong. Yeah, and he did. I don't understand yeah. how they can call no foul there when Titans. Hunter Stexter did the same thing and blows a foul. It just feels got to be a lot stronger with that basketball. Titans trail by four. Here's White. He advanced the basketball and gets Dorian Williams. Throws it to Mag. And Mag almost lost it. Here's Erford for three. Got it. Concrete three-point field goal cuts the lead to one. Eight points in the quarter. Kate Nurford. Under a minute. Vikings trying to hang on to a lead. And there's going to be a foul out front that will go against Nurford. Davis is second. This will be double bonus time. I don't know if uh, they were the officials were counting or not there, but. Titans still plenty of time left. Even if he makes both of them, we're still down. It's still one possession game. It has been an 18 to 4 quarter for the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. There's a goal though, and that will be makes point 18 for him, pushes the lead to two. Kind of a, uh, interesting uh, foul shot. It is, isn't it? There for like he walks into yeah, it, doesn't right, he? Yeah. Coach uh, takes all of his guys off the free throw lane. And for good reason. And then takes a Metzger Financial Services timeout. Timeout for us, too. It's a three point lead. Cincinnati Princeton, you're watching high school basketball on the other side. There's no mission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for us to broadcast. Say thanks to viewer support TV44 by sending me a financial gift. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing this game and other locally produced programs. Donate now at WTOW.com and click donate. Well, Scott, there's plenty of time. The Titans could use a three, but don't actually need to get one. They just need a basket here. All right. Both teams are in double bonus. They just need to score, get a good look, and see what they got to do. Hit the hit the boards, and if you are going to foul someone, I think maybe you want to go uh, try uh, Brady, because he hasn't attempted a foul shot yet. I definitely don't want to foul. You don't want to foul Ordono, who is uh, lights out tonight. You're going to send two guys at white, probably. And then Cass ends up having him solo. Here's Erford. He's had a big quarter. White does not accept the screen, but goes baseline and scores. <laughs> Points 18 and 19. It's a 53-52 game. Got trapped in the corner, and we're going to get a timeout. Yeah, good call by the uh, coach and staff from the Vikings. Coach Wyatt saw his team in, to, in, in the coffin corner down mm -hmm. there and uses his fourth Metzger Financial Services timeout. Now, Scott, that is going to be a very difficult place in which to inbound the basketball and a good place for the Titans to put some pressure on. Yeah, I think Titans probably are going to... Uh, Play a man-to-man, -man, deny, probably look to foul within 10 seconds or so because uh, you got to get the ball, and if you don't get it, you probably got to foul. We're going to try their darndest to make sure Ordono doesn't get the ball. And then uh, foul. They got 37 seconds left. 
approximately? Oh, uh, yeah, it's at 47. Now, on the season, Cliff Cass is an 83% free throw shooter. He's one for two this evening. We mentioned Ordorno shoots 85%. He is two for three this evening. Jaden Arnold shoots 68%, and he is three for five this evening. So that is the sum total of free throw shooting. They only shoot 64% as a team. And so let's see how they choose to play this. Uh, Titans, it looks like uh, Ordorno's going to take the ball out of bounds, perhaps. Nope, he's just going to check to check the official. Instead, Brendan Bredix will take it out of bounds, using a 6-4 size to inbound against Mag. Looks, looks, I've got one timeout left. There's a pass ahead, and White didn't want a foul, and Mag does. Theo Mag picks up foul number two into the free throw line. We'll go Dorian Williams, and you talked about free throw shooters. He is a 27% free throw shooter on the season, has not been there tonight. And he kind of ran away from the ball. I kind of figured that they didn't want him to touch it, but with 20.7 seconds to go in this one. Comes Arnold to get on, nope. Coach puts all his guys off the free throw lane this time. Gonna contest the rebound, there should be one for the left-hander. And it rolls out. Dan Williams averages 7.8 points per game and 5.5 rebounds. Here's his second free throw and that one does it go. Titans trail by one. And here they come. White has the basketball. And there's a timeout. Coach McLaughlin with 16.4 to go. Look for the Titans to probably attempt the shot, maybe five, six seconds to see if they can get an offensive rebound. I don't know. There's always kind of those interesting things. You're down by one, you go to the rim immediately and try to get a score and then leave them some time to, to, to score themselves. Uh, or do you say, nope, we're going to wait and we're going to get one with about four or five seconds to go and try to get an offensive rebound. That first shot doesn't go. And me. That's why coaches get paid the big money, Scott. Right, and, and me, my, my personal opinion was we always wanted to attack and go as quickly as possible, look to try to get a rebound if we score early. Is, you know, we always said our, our program was on defense, and Titans kind of been playing pretty real defensively this second half, and I think they'll take their chances uh, knowing that probably Ordorno's probably going to take it or Arnold's probably going to try to get to the rim. Uh, but I, I look for the Titans to, you know, set a play something with the Colin White uh, slip or Cade Nerfer back screen and Theo Mack going hard to the rim to try to get something on the offensive end. Don't count out Hunter Sexually either on the backside on the, maybe a kick. Erford's going to take the basketball out of bounds. He has eight points in the quarter, helping fuel this comeback. And he's going to throw the ball to White on top of the Spartan head. Nope. Some bounds instead. He's tech shoulder. Here's Erford. Here's the play. White's going to get a screen from Mag. Goes baseline. Here's Erford doubled up right away. They knew that was coming. There's Here's tech shoulder for three. Backside. Mag. Mag tries to follow. Mag goes up again. And the game's going to come to an end. Wow. Coach and staff is all over the officials thinking Theo Mag got hammered twice. But no call, and they got off the court. Well, there was a, certainly a flurry of action around the basket, uh, Scott, and uh, a lot of bodies, a lot of hands, but the uh, Titans didn't get a call that they wanted at that particular point. Yeah, they didn't. Uh, they ran that play. They had Colin White going back door. Uh, I think the coaching staff wanted it, uh, but they had Erford. They, they, Princeton knew it was coming. They had two guys on the on the flare screen for Erford coming. They got a look. Matt got two two attempts, kept it short. Good hustle by the Titans to try to come away with a with a win there, but uh, fortunately they come away one point down. Titans got two losses, both of them at the last minute or last seconds of the game. And, and one really good thing, if, if you're a Titan fan, Scott, that they scored 20 to just six in quarter number four for Princeton. It's a furious comeback that just came up a little bit short. Yep. I think they just got too far behind that second, that uh, first half, and then he just couldn't buy a basket. And a lot of it is because they weren't as aggressive as they were here in the second half. 
Cincinnati Princeton will go to six and one on the season. They will back here in the Spartan Gymnasium tomorrow at 545 to play Akron St. Vincent St. Mary's. They had corner scores of 16, 16, 15, and 6 for their 53 points. 19 for Kevin Ardorno, and he had 15 of those in the first half. Also double figures. Jay Arnold had 10, and his sophomore running mate at guard, Cliff Cast, had 9 for the Princeton Vikings. Ottawa Glendorf, they will drop to 4 and 2 on the season. Of course, still perfect in Western Buckeye League play. 2 and 0. They had quarter scores of 13. 4, 15, and 20. So a 35 to 21 score in the second half. They were led to scoring by Colin White. Colin had 19 today. Theo Mag had 12. Also 12 from Caden Durford. And Scott Caden did a really good job of helping spark this comeback with some three-point field goals in the third in the fourth quarter. And a couple of key offensive rebounds and, and uh, putbacks for the for Caden. He played hard. It's just I think the Titans just got too deep of hole that first half and couldn't get out of it. But give them credit for battling back. More basketball coming up on WON Spend this weekend as we will be here tomorrow night for the Lima Senior matchup with Dunbar as a part of this Coach Q Classic. Scott, uh, I think we want to look at the last page stat numbers we got real quick. Anything jump off the page before we close this one out? Yeah, well, it, you know, the Titans, they had nine uh, turnovers. They ended up with 17. We talked about getting to the foul line. They got there 12 times in the second half, and they made eight of them. Uh, so. Give the Titans credit, they got there. They had 17 offensive rebounds. It just, uh, I think uh, percentage-wise, they didn't shoot the ball very well. Um, four of 13 from threes. But they did, played hard and came back, just fell a little bit too short. We were told when we came in here, this would be the basketball game of the day. Two high quality basketball programs, and that was exactly right. But Cincinnati Princeton, We'll go to six and one on the season. The Ottawa Glendor Titans will drop to four and two as Princeton takes a 53-52 win over the Titans. We're going to thank our crew today, Jacob O'Neill and Marshall Jordan here in Lima Senior High School, and Megan Sherrick will edit this back at the station. We thank you for watching as well. Princeton 53, Ottawa Glendor 52. You're watching high school basketball, WOSN.